Hey, what's up, fam? So today, uh, coming with you guys a new video. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna feed my Brazilian rainbow boa, Skittles, who's up there. And we'll do five reasons why I think you should get a boa for Christmas. Um, first of all, boas are great eaters. So you're not gonna really be wasting money trying to feed these babies. You know, they love to eat and they're super cool. It's super cool watching them eat. Um, just how they strike their food. They're just, they're, they're super excited to eat and it's quite fascinating to watch. Um, you know, so that's one thing that's really cool. So if you're feeding them frozen thaw, you know, which I highly recommend, it's super easy. You know, it's not really difficult. Um, whereas with other snakes, you know, you tend to have more issues with. Um, so yeah, that's one. Second reason is that they're so chill. I mean, like for a snake that gets kind of, I wouldn't say like too big there. I mean, it's an impressive size, but it's definitely not too big. It's fun handling my snakes, but especially my boas. My boas are my favorite just because they're so chill. They're kind of like uh, reptilian sloths is the best way to really describe them. Just cause like, they're not like fast. They can be fast if they really want to be fast, but they're not. They're, they're just really chill. Just like a, you know, little sloth. Um, so yeah, that's really fun. A lot of times I'll just honestly put some Netflix on and I'll just chill with one of my boas. Number four, the fourth reason is that uh, they're super easy to maintain. So pretty much you spot clean. All spot cleaning is, is like, you know, you see them, you see poop laying around or your uh, urates, which is like, you'll see it. It kind of like poop, but it's not, it's like yellow. Anyway, so you, you spot clean. And then I would say you do a full clean. I do a full clean like every like, depends. I would say every about four to six weeks, I do a full clean and it's really not that hard. And so they eat once a week when they're babies and then when they get older, like by the time they're full grown adults, you know, they're eating like, you know, anywhere from once every two weeks to once a month. So yeah, food isn't really expensive. Uh, taking care of them isn't expensive. So yeah, maintaining is super easy, honestly. Uh, their humidity and their temperatures really aren't that hard to upkeep and they're super hardy. So they're known to be hardy, so they're pretty forgiving, you know. Um, you have other species of snakes that like, if the temperature drops too high or drops too low or goes too high, it could be very severe for them. Like my Brazilian rainbow boa up here. Um, if, if the temperature goes like past 85, you know, that could be detrimental for her. So that's, that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. But yeah, like, you know, boas, boa constrictor imperator specifically, they're, like I said, like, their um, climate or their husbandry isn't that hard to upkeep, I feel like. And so the last thing is that they're slow growers. That's my favorite part about them. One of my favorite things about them is that they grow really slow. So it's fun to kind of grow with them. So if you're feeling nervous about getting one, I was definitely suggesting a baby and just like growing with it. It's funny because before I got into boas, a lot of people told me just that. They're like, hey, like just get a baby, you know, grow with it and you'll be comfortable. It's not like you're gonna like wake up one day and it's, you know, eight feet or seven feet, you know, it takes a while for that to happen. And so um, definitely you notice that. And um, yeah, I mean, they're just so chill. I mean, if you look at any of my videos, like me handling them, like they're not, you know, tripping out, even though I have a big freaking light in their face. <laughs> they're so chill. So you got it there, fam. Those are my top five reasons why I think you should get a boa for Christmas. I would even suggest maybe even a rainbow boa. I think they're pretty good um, as first pets, as long as you, um, just as long as you're willing to kind of invest in like um, setting up their husbandry the right way. Just cause I said, they're, they're a little more specific uh, as to like their hot zone and they need a lot of humidity, 100%, 900% pretty much. Um, but that's just for their first year. And after that, it's pretty much the same humidity as um, a boa constrictor, imperator. Uh, just that their hot side, once again, is just uh, what, like 80, I keep it like 82 degrees. So yeah, their hot spot is a lot lower than them. So that's the only main difference by the time they're adults. 
But yeah, if you're looking for one that's not that big, like if you're afraid of, if you're afraid of like the size of these, you know, um, I would definitely recommend going with the Brazilian Rainbow Bow because like they're about the same size as a, a ball python, but their body type is like, it's like not nearly as chubby and fat. Like ball pythons are pretty chubby snakes. So they're a lot more leaner, kind of like how um, boa constrictors are. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's an option. Also, I would suggest getting a male if you're really nervous about size, um, obviously, or not, maybe not obviously, but males are a lot smaller than females. This is a male right here. And you know, if you look at other videos, you kind of see Kiki, who's my female albino. She's, she's a lot bigger. Um, and granted, she's like a month older, but you know, I definitely feel she's way bigger. But anyways, so if you really want, if you're nervous about size, I say just get, you know, a male. Um, you also have different types of um, like dwarf. You have like dwarfs as well. So you can look into that. I'm not too familiar with that, so I can't really speak on it, but you know, I say look into it. Um, but yeah, once again, if you're looking for, you know, a snake for Christmas, I say go with one of these, you know, or like I said, you know, even, even a Brazilian rainbow bow. I think both uh, make great first pets, honestly. And here you go. Let's see Bowie, get a good look at him. Anyway, so there we go. Um, so that's that fam. So I always get nervous whenever he looks at my fingers. You gotta be careful putting your fingers in front of their face. Um, so yeah. There we go. And that's Bowie. He's a good boy. Um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, now we're gonna go ahead with the feeding. You guys, me feeding my Brazilian rainbow boa, and just, you know, this shows you, this kind of shows you just how great of eaters they are. It's my second time feeding uh, Skittles, but enjoy. What's up fam? So if you watch my channel, you know we keep it positive or we always wrap it up on something positive. So today's positive channel of the day is just in the comments below. Uh, I just wanna know, like, what's your favorite thing about snakes? What's the most positive thing for you that you enjoy most about snakes or owning a snake? Um, I'd say for myself, um, the most positive thing about owning a snake for me is just like chilling with them. You know, it's like I have a long day, a stressful day, and it's just like, whenever I take them out and I'm handling them, it's just like so chill. Now it's like put on like Netflix and just relax, you know? And it's, man, like I said, like reptile, like a reptile sloth. I've always wanted a pet sloth, but this is the closest I can get to right now. But so yeah, that's the most positive thing. I feel like whenever I'm handling my snakes or just in general with snakes is uh, just how chill they are. And they just really relax me. It's like soothing and just kind of meditative, honestly. Um, super relaxing. Um, but yeah, so, oh, 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 don't fall. <laughs> anyway, so that's it, fam. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah. Also, I just got some new shirts, but let me go put up Bowie here, and I'll show you guys the new shirts I just got printed. They're freaking dope. All right, cool. So <laughs> just put uh, Bowie up, and I just want to show you guys the new shirts that just came in. They're really cool. Um, so here's one. So that's the front. Kind of see the back. Yeah. And then the back. And it's larger. So yeah, it's pretty dope. Pretty nice if I might admit. So if you're interested in that, um, you know, check out the Etsy page. Here's the other one. So, it's a re I've had I print I print this one out before, but yeah, it's the newest one. Um, I really like this one a lot. This one came out really good. Um, so yeah, 
you're interested, you should cop one. They're dope. Um, I like them, like the really good quality. So, you know, you're gonna get like the best of the best. Um, anyway, so yeah, you know, you'd be supporting your boy, support the channel, that's more stuff we can do. And also you get some cool merch. But anyways, that does it for us, fam. Thanks again for watching um, and cool. Until next time, fam. Black Kippy out. Peace.